Okay, so I'm back, and I have been grinding. I went out into the wasteland, killed some things, get some levels, come back, buy some ammo. Oh yeah, also I got a Gauss rifle for myself, because I'm watching Vic shoot his Gauss rifle, and I'm like, mm, I'm getting a little jealous. So I got myself one. So as you could probably already see, I've geared up quite a bit for myself. I have a rocket launcher for crowd control. So I also have a Vindicator minigun, because why not? I've actually heard of this gun before playing this game. I actually was aware of it, so I saw it, bought it, and I'm like, hell yeah. It takes 25 bullets per shot, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. So you really want to have as much ammo as you can. So anyway, we have an electric lockpick because I'm going to go to Toxic Caves and open the elevator from way back when. And then, what other interesting stuff? I have a pile of stim packs and I've been spending all my money. That's basically it. You definitely picked the lock on the door. You damn right. So we're just going to walk up here. Why that way? I don't know. I didn't I didn't say. Oh, it's because Cassie's blocking the way. It's like I didn't say to go that way. Nice miss. Okay, so I'm going to walk forward so I don't blast Vic because he will die. How'd we do? Is it a death? It's a death. It's an immediate death. 156 hit points inflicted. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, we got fuel out the wazoo. We got ammo. We're pretty strong. Let's head over to the unknown. It's the military base. Marito Mariposa military base. There's a bunch of wild dogs here. They've taken over. Maybe they will be nice and friendly wolves. They don't seem to be mean. Oh, they're all converging on me. This seems bad. I'm concerned. Why are they following us? Oh, yeah, they were waiting till they all grouped up. You all are making a terrible mistake. Okay, there's one more. I didn't see that little fella. Little dead fella. I will tell you one thing. I'm going to try explosives on this if it lets me. You attach the metal pole to the minecart. Then what? Can I put dynamite on it now? Yes. Here we go. If I were a betting man, I'd say that in a Mariposa military base, there is going to be some enemies. Ah, uh, maybe not, actually. Yo, there's some things. Oh, there's a super mutant. Grundle. Well, I did want to use a rocket launcher, but you're right in my face, so... You're going to take some of that. You're going to take some of this. And you're dead. There's a generator. I wonder if I could do anything with it. Looks badly damaged. I'm gonna try and repair it, but I'm pretty sure it's just it's just not going to work. Oh, I did repair it. Wow, look at all these bones. Wonder what happened here. Whatever monster blew up this place. I hope they're rotting in hell. Okay, game saved. Let's go on in. What the hell's all this? You see a strange beast. Well, I see what may be a boss. Whip out the minigun. Stop! I warned you. What the hell did he just do? So you've chosen death. What's your name? You see a super mutant that looks a bit deranged. Not anymore, I don't. Oh my god, where did that thing come from? There's another. How many of these are there going to be? Doesn't matter, it's gone. Next. There are no more. There's nothing to see here, boys. Don't go near that goo. All right, so I just gathered a bunch of money. We're heading to San Francisco. We're going to explore San Francisco now because I've just kind of left it alone other than the stores. I want to check out the Brotherhood of Steel. I haven't been able to get into any of these so far. Hello, Dinkelberg. What can I do for you? How the hell do you know my name? You could start by answering some questions. What can I help you with? Who are you guys? We are a paramilitary organization known as the Brotherhood of Steel. 
Okay, and what is it that you do? At one time, we were the sole bastions of technology left on the planet. We set ourselves up as what could best be called technology police. We hoarded the old knowledge and only doled it out in small parcels. Of course, it was only to those who we felt deserved it and had the wisdom to properly use it. You said it one time. What about now? Several months ago, we came across a group known as the Enclave. Much to our surprise, their level of technology surpassed even our own. We found this quite disturbing and considered contacting them. However, we decided on a more cautious course of action until we could determine exactly who the Enclave was and the underlying purpose of their organization. To this end, we have reactivated small outposts near areas of Enclave activity from which we can safely observe them. Currently, we have activated such outposts in the DIN, the NCR, and here in San Francisco. Sounds interesting. What have you learned? We have found that the Enclave deals heavily in Kims, weapons, and slaves. However, these are simply trivial pursuits leading up to some higher purpose, which we have failed to uncover. We are still watching them. Before we go any further, why tell me all this? <sighs> the Enclave has developed vertebrate technology, flying machines that allow them to move deeply into surrounding territories. Without similar technology to counter this threat, the Brotherhood would be unable to stop an invasion launched by the Enclave. We need to have vertebrate technology, or a viable counter to it, for ourselves. Now, recently the Enclave established a base north of here called Navarro. It's used as a stopover point for the maintenance and refueling of vertebrates. It's my belief that such a base may have complete technical plans of the vertebrates. All I need is for someone to infiltrate the base, steal the plans, and bring them here to me. Let me guess, you want me to infiltrate this base for you. Let me be frank with you, Denkelberg. The Brotherhood of Steel is not the power that we once were. We believed ourselves to be the sole source of technology left to mankind. Secure in this belief, we have let our order decline over the years. Now we don't have the resources at our disposal to deal with the Enclave. We need your help. I am prepared to make you this offer. Perform this mission for me, and I will grant you access to our facility here. The best of the Brotherhood technology will be made available to you, exclusively. What do you say? What the hell? I must be crazy, but I'll do it. Excellent. Here's what I need you to do. Go to Navarro, infiltrate the base, and recover the technical plans for the vertebrates. Return the plans to me. Alright, but... Just how do you think I should go about this? This is a military base, after all. Navarro is relatively new and not fully staffed as yet. My sources tell me that they receive new recruits from time to time. Perhaps if you went in alone, you could pose as a new arrival. I would suggest that. You could have your friends wait here. Okay, now I have a choice to make. How hard would it be for me and my boys to go in there and just wreck the place up? Is it a good idea? I don't know. We'll have to see. Halt! This is federal property. No admittance without proper authorization. I have a pass. It was right here. Don't give me any excuses. You need to either show me your pass or give me the password. Screw you and everyone who looks like you. I'm dead. Okay, same plan. Okay, why? Well, I'm dead. There's no reason for this to continue. Cassidy, get the hell over here. I'm going for it. Okay, so now the turrets are dead. We could take, well, at least the ones near us are dead. Man, those turrets do way too much damage. Floor one, here we come. There's a death claw in here. What the hell? How dare you get in my way? Nice, Vic. Proud of you, my son. Will these scientists leave me alone? Multiple intruders, sound the alarm! We've been infiltrated, alert! This is what you get for working with the Enclave. There's just a random death claw here. I find that suspicious. And we'll worry about that in a second. We still gotta get rid of this guy. Cyberdog? You are not my master. I cannot speak to you. Goodbye. Is this your master? He's gone. The life functions of my master have been terminated. Are you my new master? Sure, you look like a nice enough dog. Excellent. I am in need of repairs, master. 
My motivation unit has been removed. Find it, replace it, and I will join you. Well, I have the part, you stupid dog. Wait a second. I just have another companion? Seems a little too good to be true. You don't need charisma to get him to follow you, I guess. All right, let's go through this door and possibly fight a death claw. Greetings, human. The base is on full alert. Are you by any chance the cause? Yep. Who are you? I am Zarn, pack warrior. Allow me to join you and fight at your side for our freedom. Together we stand a chance alone? Who knows? Buddy, they're almost all gone. Before I come to any decision, I'd like to know why you're here. Very well. The Enclave created my people as a slave warrior race. They enhanced our intellect hoping we could better understand their commands, and yet not recognize our status as slaves. They failed. We are much more intelligent than they suspect. We decided to play fool until we gained our freedom. Our chance arrived when the Enclave decided to test us outside their control, here on the mainland. Dr. Schreber opposed their decision, but he was overruled. Not accepting the Enclave decision, he chose exile to this base, captured me, and has been performing experiments to determine my true nature. He has been successful. When he reports his findings to the Enclave, my people will be hunted down and slain. I must escape and warn my people. Fine, we're in this together. Load up your claws and let's party down. I highly doubt that he's going to come with me. I thank you, human. Let us kick some Enclave ass. Pack Gruthar. <laughs> the <laughs> such a Such a great raw noise that I made. Are you going to sit here and tell me that I have a dog and a death claw and my two homies? Is that what I understand here? Locked. Not on my watch. You failed to disable the lock. You failed to disable the lock. You failed to disable the lock. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. You successfully disabled the lock. I was about to say, what the heck? Tanker fob. That's what I was looking for. That's going to help me get to their main base, where however the hell I do that. Ah, the good old car. You are a true prack brother. May we meet again in more peaceful times. I must go now to prepare my people for war. I like Navarro. That was cool. I can't wait to uh, play through it with Charisma and try that route. Although, if you have played this game and you have never tried wiping them all out, it's pretty fun. Give it a try. He's going to be like, you didn't sneak in. You just murdered everyone. That's awesome. Have you completed your mission? I got the vertebrate plans for you. Excellent work. Let me have the plans, and I'll make a copy of them. As promised, I'll give you full access to our facilities. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I've popped in here on the side place over here I'm going to go to, but I've never actually spoken to anyone. We're keeping an eye on you. Makes sense. Makes sense. I just want to see what's going on in here. That's all. What can I do for you? What is this place? This is the steel palace of the Emperor. This is the heart of Shi Town. And where is the Emperor? The Emperor remains hidden from prying eyes. As my job is to act as the Emperor's screen, I cannot and will not tell you where he is. Fine. I have more questions. I'm looking for some lost villagers. Lost villagers? I have heard nothing of this. Perhaps the Emperor would know of them. Thanks, I'll do that. You just said I couldn't talk to him. Not everyone is granted a chance to see the Emperor. You must first prove your worth. Are you willing to prove yours? Yes. Excellent. This is what I require of you. There is a small military base north of here called Navarro. There are numerous vertebrates there. We need plans and blueprints to manufacture some of our own. Fetch those, and you will be on your way to seeing the Emperor. You got it. You have certain schematics to give me? Ken Lee told me to give you these. I just leveled up again. <laughs> Speak to Ken Lee and he shall discuss what happens in your future. Thank you. We shall be able to verify some of our test data with these. Good day. So I just enabled these guys, but I have no idea who they are. Seems like a smart plan. Thank you for the vertebrate plans, Traveler. What can I do for you? Can I see the Emperor now? You must complete a second test. Oh boy. Seriously? Let's see what he wants. You must complete a second test. 
The Eubologists are our enemies. Their leader, AHS-9, has been abducting and brainwashing our children. Kill him for the good of the Shi, and I shall tell you how to speak to the Emperor. He's as good as dead. I am anxious to see the result of your attempt. Good day. Good day. What the hell is this? Hey, raw meat! Who are you? What are you doing here? I want to join the Hubologists. Go down that elevator and talk to AHS-7 at the guard post. He'll direct you accordingly. Thanks, bye. Okay, well, it's about to go down. Where am I supposed to go? You, state your business. I'm interested in potentially joining your group. Excellent, go in, go in. Speak to Juan Cruz and Vicky Goldman. They're celebrities, you know, but they'll talk to you. Ooh, celebrities. <laughs> Wait a second, Juan Cruz? You can find them in the prayer room, showing all of our new recruits and the raw meat just how rewarding it is to be a hubologist. Well, let me at them. Literally, let me at them. Okay, who's the leader here? You see an eerily wholesome couple. <laughs> That's got to be him, right? If it's not the main guy, this is going to get awkward. Pretty quick. Your emburgled aura tells me that you come here meaning no good. Tell me, child, do you wish to profit from your adventure? No, I just want you to die. How much health could this guy have? That's what I thought. AHS-9 was killed. Damn it, I was hoping nobody saw that. I'm gonna walk away. Okay, we got rid of that guy. Vic? <laughs> What's going on, bud? <laughs> He's killing people all the way over there. I'm coming, Cassidy. Take that, Danny Masterson. That was probably one of the most fucked up jokes I've made on the channel. Let's end combat and move on. With the death of AHS-9, the great and terrible, the Hubologist posed no real threat to us in our researches. Well done. You have our gratitude. Would you like to speak to the Emperor? Yes, that's why I did all this. You have proven yourself to be a friend of the Shi. I believe I could trust you with our secrets. In the back room, you will find the force field to the large computer has been turned off. Enter the password. I hope this will prove useful to you. Okay, so the Emperor is a computer. Surprise, surprise. Greetings. Please enter your password to confirm your identity. Identity confirmed. Geolocation. What do you wish to locate? The villagers from my home. 97% aggregate chance. Villagers located at current coordinates of Enclave Compound. Okay, so, as some of you may be aware, I had a run-in with Mrs. Bishop in a prior video, and I don't really like what happened. Not a big fan of how I was treated by Mrs. Bishop. So, I'm thinking me and the boys are going to go pay a visit in New Reno. Mrs. Bishop. Take this, bitch. That's what you get. For forcing yourself on me. I hope you enjoy that. This guy's next. Get him, boys. Yeah, buddy. This is gonna be easy as pie. Okay, I'm gonna spam A when I go up here. Because I wanna start blasting before anyone. Okay, just picture this though. These guys are just chilling in here. And then a guy walks up the stairs, blasts three dudes. And then you're the last dude left. You're like, what the hell? And then you're dead. Because Cassidy is a mean son of a bitch. Well, there we go. That'll take care of uh, the bishops. Sorry, I've entered the wrong room. Except I didn't. I definitely entered the right place. All right, now that I've saved, prepare to die. I didn't give you very much preparation time. I will admit that. Everyone in this room is dead now. Get them, boys. They are massacring people. Whoa, okay, okay. I gotta get to Vic. He's taking one damage. Cassidy's taking three. I saw Mordino's man was hit for 66, and I was like, Cassidy, I think I'll kill you slow. Vic, I'm starting to think that Vic <laughs> has issues. Don't die on me, Cassidy. Not to these fools. Vic was knocked to the ground. I'm having heart attack, city. Okay, I see Cassidy's on the ground. You fucking idiots. <laughs> I 
I saw the docks and I knew we'd be crossing the ocean, so I figured this would probably end up being the place. Let's do it. Ooh, cutscene. Sorry about wrecking your dock. Wow. That's a pretty cool scene. What is, what am I looking at here? I don't know what keeps happening to the screen at certain points. Welcome to the Enclave. Oh boy. Never thought you'd keep an old timer like me around this long. Let's get this job done and go home. Hell yeah, Cassidy. Uh, don't know if you guys are going to survive this, but I like the spirit. Oh, and we're in. What the hell? This place is so crowded. This was a bad idea coming in here. We're not going to survive that fight. These turrets didn't attack me, though. I'm confused. Oh, we get killed. Okay, I'm extremely confused. I'm dead. Okay. I'm kind of wondering what the best way to deal with everything is. So nobody seems to care about me so far. That's good. Well, I found my people. Let's talk to the Jedi over here. Chosen one. How did you get oh. here? I haven't seen her since the beginning of the game. Let's see here. I've come to rescue you. Careful. Do not touch the glow wall. I think the machine that feeds it is beneath us. Destroy it so we may escape. How did you get here? No big deal. I, I have a ship. If you destroy the machine, we will find the ship. Hurry. There are not many of us left. Okay, but the, my main problem with all this is, like, how are they going to escape all these guards? They don't call him Dick Richardson for nothing. Is he an, he's a dickhead? I'm just going to say that's what you're saying. Okay, let's talk to him, I guess. Well, hello there. Glad to make time for one of our gallant troopers, but I, I am rather busy, so, um, what can the President of the United States of America do for you? Mr. President, it's good to meet you. So how do I kill this guy without getting caught? My option is pretty much to just sneak a bomb onto this guy and then run away. 
He's gonna notice every time. Really? You missed in a time like this? Yeah, everyone's gonna know. Well, I guess we're gonna see what happens. Apparently this is what we're doing. Good thing I brought the big boy. I didn't want it to come to this, but this is what we're dealing with. Oh, the secretary is screwed. All right, they're down. Go loot that body. Oh, you had a key card. Okay. So I'm just going to do that and then just, <laughs> I guess I'm just walking out of here because I get to just, I'm the only one doing turns here. Okay, that's done. We're out of here. Uh-oh. Hey, boys. I had nothing to do with anything that happened. How do I get out? Oh, over here. We'll see. Let's heal. Pretty much just want to be full health. Okay. I saved. Oh, who are these guys? Oh, for the love of God. Who the hell is that? Oh, I've heard of this guy. Okay, I just changed the turrets. Okay, they're attacking him. Okay, well that's a lot better than him attacking me. However, I am going to attack him. What's what is what's the deal with these guys? Are they going to come out here? Oh my god, he's huge. Okay, he just kind of shook off that. He took 425 damage. He just shook that off. Okay, he... Dude, this guy's got a lot of health. Frank Horrigan. Yeah, I've heard of him. If he attacks me, I'm doomed, but I don't think he's going to get to. Oh, he attacked me. 27 damage. 18... He does a lot of damage. Holy cow. Dude, if he survives this, I will be shocked. He's just survived that. Okay, wow. We got him. Dude, this minigun's awesome. These guys didn't do anything. Oh, were they on their way? They're gonna get obliterated by turrets. I'm getting the hell out of here. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, that death animation's insane. Well, you can't loot him? Okay, I'm getting the hell out of here. Before they come for me. I have 8 minutes and 28 seconds, I'll be fine. Are they not about to get blasted by turrets? Yes, they are. Okay, well... He's still walking. <laughs> oh, he just actually died. That was wild. Okay, so next turn, should I be able to get out of here? And did I save my people? I wasn't paying attention. I'm almost certain that's what I was supposed to do, was turn the power off by destroying the reactor. Or whatever I did. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty over- This is a little overwhelming. Okay, can I go through? I leveled up. Wow. Goodbye, Enclave. Or at least that's what we think, and then Fallout 3 happens. So Frank Corrigan is that secret service agent that that doctor was talking about, right? Pretty sure. So they turned him into a what? Like a super mutant? 
That was insane. That was really cool. <laughs> now what? After the Enclave's destruction, the refugees of Arroyo and Vault 13 resettled, building a new community with the aid of the Garden of Eden creation kit. Finding themselves hundreds of miles from their vault, the members of Vault 13 chose to join the villagers in establishing a new community, and their technical expertise, combined with the villagers' survival skills, allowed the new settlement to grow and prosper. Two generations of the same bloodline were reunited, and their savior, the Chosen One, became Elder, presiding over the village in the years to come. Relations between the Slags and the residents of Modoc flourished. Between the two peoples, Modoc prospered and became a major farming community, supplying all the outlying regions with food. With Metzger gone, slavery disappeared from the area. Becky's casino bar grew quickly, and Rebecca Dyer's reputation as an honest casino and bar owner brought her the business needed to buy out her competition and expand. The den flourished, and it soon gained a reputation for being a tough but honest community. In the years to come, Vault City suffered greatly from raider attacks. Eventually, the situation grew so desperate, the citizens were forced to request aid from NCR. Within a month, a large detachment of the NCR's military was stationed in Vault City. The military presence quickly became an occupation force, and Vault City became the first of NCR's border territories. Within a year of the Enclave's destruction, the Wright family turned from criminal activity to legitimate pursuits. Several schools and churches were established in New Reno, along with a law enforcement body that crippled the influence of the families. Though New Reno lost much of its edge, the city obtained a certain solidity that appealed to newcomers. Many came to Reno not to visit, but to live, and the population increased threefold. Today, the test scores of new Reno High School graduates are greater than many Californian schools before the war. Optimizing Gecko's reactor created a power surplus in Gecko. The Volt City Council, unable to expand because of their limited power supply, yielded to internal pressure and was forced to take over Gecko to control the reactor. The peaceful ghouls of Gecko became slaves. No. And spent the rest of their lives serving Vault City. Several years after buying the excavator chip from the Chosen One, Marge Labarge was able to purchase and control both the Morning Star and the newly opened Cocoa Weef mines. Marge was an easy choice for mayor, and using her new political power, she made Redding join the growing New California Republic in return for a seat in the NCR's Hall of Congress. With the destruction of the conspiracy to destroy the mutants, Broken Hills began to thrive. Then, the uranium ran out. The city, having lost its sole reason for existing, slowly dispersed. The residents carried their riches with them, leaving the place a windswept, desolate ghost town. A few holdouts remained, attempting to eke out a pathetic existence, but eventually, they too disappeared. Your help with Vault 15 launched the New California Republic's push to civilize its neighbors. Though there were many more obstacles to overcome, the NCR now had a foothold into the northern wastes. With the support of the New California Republic, the Vault 15 squatters soon became self-sufficient and productive members of society. By eliminating the death clause of Vault 13, you banished yet another species of the realms of extinction. Uh, I did not do that. Once again, <laughs> genocide I did not do that, game. To any problem. The she flourished, creating a botanical scourge on the radiation surrounding their beloved town. Though this vine could not grow in other soils, the she took care to nourish it in their lands. They continued to grow in strength and prominence, forming the basis of a new empire. As for the tanker vagrants, well, as vagrants do, they drifted on.
All right. Well, oh, do you wish to continue playing? Hell yeah, that's cool. I don't know if I'll continue playing this save. I'll probably just start over. But, uh, wow, that's pretty neat. Well, I beat Fallout 2. This is a great game. I'll be playing it for years to come, I'm sure. Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. I feel great playing the classic games and, and getting a new perspective on uh, Fallout New Vegas, which will be coming up next. I'll be playing that soon. Uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, which I do like those games. I do think that playing the classic games have sort of diminished how much I enjoy 3 and 4. But at the same time, I still really like those games, personally. I know that they're controversial to people, and that's, that's fine. I think people should be able to feel how, however they want about, about the Fallout series. And, and uh, I don't think it's bad to be... Um, I don't think it's bad that the fan base is divided. I, I think it's fine that, that people feel differently. I think people should probably chill on the animosity towards Bethesda. Bethesda, I mean, you should critique them for sure. And I agree with a lot of complaints and stuff that people have with the Bethesda games. But overall, I do like them. And I do think that some people uh, cross the line from criticism into personal attacks and, and, and stuff like that, which, you know, I don't think that's really a, a good look <laughs> for a person. But criticizing them and, and even like, even if you just straight up just like hate Bethesda's way of doing things, I think that's perfectly fine, you know? But uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll do like a tier list eventually where I just uh, rate, you know, every Fallout game that I've, or mainline game. And then I'll, I'll start looking into the spinoffs. I will tell you, I do own Fallout Brotherhood of Steel the, for PS2. I do own that. I, under, I know... I know about this game. I, I know how infamous it is. Um, I also own Fallout Tactics, so I'll probably play that because somebody, I don't know if they were joking or not, but there's, I, you know, talked about games I'm going to be playing soon. And one of them was Fallout 2 in New Vegas. And they're like, Fallout Tactics is, an, is missing from your list. <laughs> and I don't know if they were joking or not, but I'm genuinely going to try those out eventually. But for now, next, it's going to be New Vegas. So um, I'm really excited for that. I might take a week off before I go to New Vegas. I'll put a post in the comments that'll go over what exactly my plans are. Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC for Elden Ring is coming, so I need to make sure I make proper time for that. This channel is in a phase where I'm starting to, you know, figure things out, what works for me. Like, it takes Fallout... For some reason, the classic Fallout games took me a lot more time to make videos for than, like, usual stuff. Like, when I play Batman... I can get those videos out pretty quick. Like the Arkham Knight videos, those come out pretty quick. But for the classic Fallout games, it takes me about a week to get a video ready. So, uh, yeah. I could probably push for the videos to have come out sooner, but uh, you really don't want to record yourself playing if you feel like you're forcing it. And so I always stop when I feel a little like mentally tired. Like, all right, I've, I think I've played enough and enjoyed enough. And then, you know, you, you really want to come in feeling energized so you don't just release a piece of crap and nobody enjoys the video so <laughs> that's why it takes me so long but new vegas probably won't take as long i would say so uh expect at least every now and then two fallout new vegas videos in a week but we're gonna stick to to saturdays for now um but uh yeah i think i blabbed enough <laughs> did a lot of blabbing here Anyway, I don't know where my companions went either. That's another thing. They were just kind of left. Really hoping that they are somewhere, but it doesn't really matter because this, this is the end of the game. Maybe they all spread out to do their thing. Anyway, that's going to be it. Peace, everybody. Peace, everybody.